Welcome back, back to the Smashing Nights. I feel like I keep saying this, but it, it always feels like it's been a while, it's man. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Oh, sure. Hot fucking minute. It's been a minute. Actually, minute made, minute made. On this fucking, this is a different podcast episode. I just realized, yo, audience members, listen out. This is actually, you know, more interactive with mm-hmm. you guys. Yes. You know, some of y'all motherfuckers, some of y'all, you know, dope ass motherfuckers sent us questions. And it's actually pretty dope. And that's what this podcast is here about. We're, we're going to be reading your questions, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. Trying our best to answer about your questions, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all have questions, but the questions aren't for us. They, mm-hmm. They're they're for, for everyone else, right? So we all pick the question, mm-hmm. and we're all going to ask it to the person that, you know, the fan that yeah. was asking the question to. Mm-hmm, but, yeah. So the person that's answering doesn't know what the question is. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yo... Hey, if you guys want to send surprise. us some questions, man, uh, hit us up TikTok, Instagram, all that mm-hmm. bullshit you already know. Let's go. You already should know. All right. So, Russell, I guess you could start us off, man. Yeah, I could start us off. Um, yeah. Here I have an email from our listener, okay. our dear listener, actually, Terry. 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 Uh, Terry, yeah. Hey, Terry. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Terry, so he, he describes, it's, just, it's a long email out here. Like, he described oh, he's, he's a bird watcher at the Dallas Zoo. And apparently, he's also like a really, really big fan of squirrels. So, That's what sick. he wants to know, Terry, yeah. he wants to know. Um, I think he he directed it towards Armdus. He wants to know. Okay. Yeah, he wants to know. Um, if you were a squirrel, he said. He asks, "How many nuts would you collect in a day?" That's his question. <laughs> okay. If I was a squirrel, how many nuts I would collect in a day? Uh huh. How many nuts would you collect? Yeah. Well, you know, squirrels, they need to collect enough food for the winter so mm-hmm. they can hibernate. So, I don't know. If I was a squirrel, maybe uh, at least five to ten nuts a day. I'd really? Say. Wow. Quite some place. Because some, some, um, some squirrels practice abstinence. Like, they, they don't eat nuts, they, they, they eat really? other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they is. they are some some of them are like cannibals apparently according to Terry so oh, like cannibals th- oh, th- yeah sure. some of them are cannibals that's that's a apparently a big problem in the Dallas Zoo so yeah. um he 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 wanted to know you know if you were a squirrel how many nuts would you collect because he he's a he's a animal conservationist at heart you know he he wants people to nut you know or he wants the uh, squirrels to nut um so. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's um that's a very interesting question from Terry. You you have I'm a actually, question. You're at, yeah. It is. I'm actually curious. So he so he, he mentioned that he was a bird watcher. Right. Yeah. He he's a bird watcher as well. Apparently, um he, he likes to um he likes to write poetry because he sent me a bunch of emails uh, a couple months ago. Like it was like a chain email. Oh, so he's like, oh, he's been an he, OG. He, he's an OG. Nice. He we gotta treat okay. Terry well here, guys. He's an OG. I- Fan of the podcast, so because what what initially drew him into the um the podcast was the 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 pepper the the spice you know and he he was also like giving me recipes about you know how to cook a bird you know how to you know season it well like oh, yeah, he, he was complaining sure. all the time about chick- hell yeah chickens, right, ladies and gentlemen by the mm-hmm. way how to specify right? chickens. Huh? Like, okay, okay. He he was like he was complaining to me about KFC and how how about like how like really unseasoned the the food is over there and like how his home cooked meal would beat any KFC meal any day. Oh, so he he's a he's a professional at that. So we gotta give props to Terry, man. Terry is a big fan of the podcast. Shout out to you, man. And he's a fucking D. Shout out. Okay. Hell yeah. I mean. Bird watching experience is very little. Um, what I know, I mean, we all have fish. There are no tree. Seen? Have you guys actually like it? He's lagging. He's lagging. It's fine. It's fine though. The the Jaylen, lag is part of the podcast. Jalen is disqualified from Squid Games. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh uh, shit! He died, man. <laughs> he got eliminated. Eliminated. He eliminated. No, I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready. He's back. He's oh, back. Shit. He's back. He's back. Technical difficulties. Okay, 
It's okay. It's okay. It happens. As long as I'm, I'm here, right? I'm clear as day. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Hold on, hold on. Like, what a time to lag, man. Fuck. No, Terry's gonna be disappointed now. Yeah, Terry. Terry's gonna be uh, really, really upset that um the lag is getting to Mister J Bro right there. It's bad. Uh, it's bad, man. Don't do hashtag. It. Um, you're back. You're back. You're Final back. back. All right. I'm. I'm clear as day. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, boy. All right. I'm. It's I'm a doozy. All right. All right. Listen. You gotta apologize like to Terry, I was man. Saying, Come on. Like, it, it, listen, Terry. I didn't mean to fucking lag out on you, bro. I. I was actually getting really engaged with the bird question mm -hmm. um because i'm actually really familiar with uh feeding pigeons i used to do that show with my mom actually mm. oh, that's way 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 back when yeah um not we didn't do it like every day but like um basically we'd have bread like an extra lo mm -hmm. loaf of bread and we'd go go to the lake near mm. a lake um and we literally just you know threw some bread in the water and it was actually really nice to see birds you know just feed you know just chill it was a nice vibe it was really cool especially as a kid you're like yo holy shit it's a bunch of fucking birds just flocking over to you it was cool man it was really i mean cool. they That's have an advantage over us experience. they have an advantage over us because they can fly bro literally they can fly they do. with their they own fucking fly. bodies bro what the fuck they shit on you too that that's the problem. Yeah, that's they don't, they don't really give a fuck, man. Fuck that, man. But yeah, Terry, like, yeah, that that's at least with my experience with some birds. I'm not I'm not familiar with the no nut November, you know, coming up shortly. But um, yeah, with the nuts and shit, uh, mm -hmm. squirrels are very fucking interesting animals. Um, I squirrels, it's like they're either really fucking chill or they're really erratic. They could be fucking. There is no in between. That's what I'm you know, saying. Uh, like I've I've always been... yeah. What's up? What's up? I was gonna say like my my dad was bit by a squirrel like a couple weeks ago. Shit. What the oh. fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit! Your dad's gonna die. Holy Bro, shit. <laughs> did he get get a like anti rab ra rabies fucking shot or some shit? Yeah. No, Stop apparently it. like uh squirrels don't really like get rabies. Oh really? Like, huh. I guess. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's so like I I think they give him like. Like an antibacterial shot or like something mm. like that, and you know, like he, he's perfectly fine after. Oh, easy clap, easy clap. Yeah. But yeah, he he got he got you know a bit too close for comfort. He 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 tried to feed it directly like from his oh, hand. Ooh. That's why. Yeah, that, that's why. See, he, he your got dad bit. needs to bleeding? take a few pointers from Terry because Terry knows how to feed <laughs> squirrels. Terry is a sure. great squirrel tamer. That's his title apparently on his resume. He he sent me his resume as well. Like he oh. wanted to work for Spicy Nights, but. You know, yeah. we're not yeah. hiring. As we're not is. hiring right now, so you know. He wanted maybe to work next for us as like a, a bird watching squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. interesting expert, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. is interesting. I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Was he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No? I guess, yeah. He was. I mean, I don't. I I think he was. I don't. It was like you know, like he he they they immediately went to like you know the hospital like you know to check him. So you know, but he was he was fine like afterwards. Okay, that's good. Because I was supposed to say, mm -hmm. hey, I didn't know squirrels could do that much fucking damage to a person. <laughs> fucking damage. And it is. <laughs> no, but yeah. Terry, interesting fucking question that you have for us today. Like, wow, we starting off the podcast with nuts and squirrels and birds and shit. What the fuck, man? Hey, man, it's um, all the courtesy of Terry out there. It was up? Yeah, Terry, shout, shout out to Terry. Um, So who has the next question? I think we have a, another well, like question. Spyfall, I have house today. Yeah. Oh, you did. I got. I got him, man. What's up? Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah. The, the this question, like, basically, Eno can answer it, but I, I think uh, Jalen might be most qualified for it. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, a question from a fan who's on Omegle. And mm. so, oh, okay. What the oh, fuck? wow. Omegle. Wait. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you ask the question, before you ask the question, the question? you you were hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 before yeah, you uh -huh. answer, before you ask the question, you were on Omegle uh -huh. for this fan to. Um, ask the question to you. Uh, yeah, That's I was promoting spicy nights, and I oh. uh, ran into a fan. He was like, "Hey, I, I watch you guys." Shit. I, was like, yeah. hey. I didn't know you did marketing for us, man. What the hell? Hey, appreciate it. We gotta, we gotta, yeah, gotta we give him a raise, it. man. Let's go. Yeah, man. You know, oh, like, he was like, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a fan." I was like, "Hey, you want to do like a little interview?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." And you know, he, he, he there's he's one of his questions. There you go. And uh, what he asked me was that uh, what. 
What does it take to not be racist? Mm. Oh, what, very interesting. What does, what does, I mean, hey, that makes sense because he's on the internet. Hey, a lot of internet people are memes, you know? Mm-hmm. So it makes sense why he that would ask true. a question like that. And so, yeah, I thought, you know, Jalen, you'd be the most qualified one out of all of us to answer that question. So what do you, what do you think? Like, what, what does it take to not be racist? Okay. I mean, all right. On Omegle standards, mm-hmm. literally <laughs> everyone is a fucking racist, man. What the hell? You skip and there's at least one person saying the N-word on Omegle. I'm not even joking. Um, but, like, as far as, like, you know, in a general sense, not to be racist, mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty fucking, I mean, I would say it's pretty pretty fucking easy not to be racist you know you just uh-huh. gotta accept people for who they are you know their skin color their fucking whatever it is and you mm-hmm. know just live life with like spiciness you know just be cool with everyone don't be an asshole that's what i would say that's how you not like yeah not to be racist not to that be racist. User, user he was uh or he or she was um he was she or she was asking a philosophical question there huh Oh, was it? Yeah, oh, you know, pro- probably also like to you know, avoid because racism of the, because of the site they're on. Because you know, oh. like, you, you know, it, it makes sense. You know, it's like like Jalen mentioned it. A lot of people like wow, the end word on there. I didn't know that. It's That's what I'm me. saying. Like, there's what? two. Yeah, there's two uh, sides to like come at it from, like yeah. not being racist on Omegle <laughs> or not being racist in real life. Because mm. in real life, I mean, what yeah, the hell? What like, would it be if it's in real life? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's multiple, uh, it's a multitude of ways, like, basically, you walking up to, let's say, and listen, audience members, I, I, um, this is just, like, an example, okay, I, mm-hmm. I don't want to get canceled, get but canceled. let's say, uh, uh, you, you walk up to, um, like, in <laughs> Arabic, for example, or mm-hmm. some shit, like, you know, someone from the Middle East, and you just, mm-hmm. you just be like, hey, what's cracking, my dude? You know, you know, you got a bomb on you. Like, what the <laughs> hell? It's just random. You know? It's oh. racist. That's extremely racist. You're going up to an Asian, like, yo, what kind of cats and dogs are you cooking up today? You know, <laughs> or like, you go up to a black guy, yo, where's your father? There's so many different ways to be. I'm gonna say it's an racist, example again. Like, the time it is out, an example. Yeah, yeah, let me. Let me yeah, oh go, shit. Yeah. They get canceled. They cut. They cut. Don't want to get canceled. You know, they make it sound racist, but you're not. Yeah. Or, or is it not actually? No, that's stereotyping, actually, if I'm not be Yeah, yeah, that's stereotyping, those examples I just gave. But it's also, you know... Yeah, but there's some racial ambitions. Not like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, not liking someone because of their skin color or, like, whatever. That's just... Come on, man. We gotta be better than that. Oh, but, Omega, Omega Viewer, if you are watching us, that's... In the real world, that's how you would not be racist. Mm. Um, uh, and, and as far as omegle mm, everyone's gonna be fucking racist on that site i mean <laughs> that site i feel like we should have an episode a future podcast episode on fucking omegle dedicated There's so much to shit omegle. i want to say about the fucking website yeah dedicated to omegle thank you um i feel it's just i da- listen all in all uh, all i'm gonna say this is uh omegle viewer if you come across those people, just fucking skip. That's the best thing you could, do, you could do on Omegle. Just skipping because there's a lot of crazy shit on that website. There's a lot of crazy shit that people do. So, hey, just skip. I think that um, applies in real yeah. life as well, you know. Skip, you know. If someone says something to you that's, you know. Skip mean, their ass. Uh, skip, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, actually skip. Like, okay. skip, like, fucking, you know. Skip with your feet, you know. I wish that was actually it's, possible. It's to easier actually to be a racist on Amigo, man. It's really, yeah, easy, easy. It is because there's no consequences. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, we gotta I'm save, like, we gotta save, we gotta save. Future, yeah, future. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> great uh, great uh, advice. Uh, does anyone have the next yeah. question? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I guess right. I can go, I can go, I can go. Mm-hmm. Um, go all it. right. So, mm-hmm. this is a fairly short question. It's, okay. it's an interesting one. I, I don't know, you know, what it's supposed to mean, mm-hmm. but... So I have a question here for Russell. Uh-huh, uh, okay. This question comes from Al Jabbar bin Nasir Khaled Al Hamidi from mm. Kuwait. Okay. Okay. Kuwait. Damn. Uh, okay. Shout out to my Kuwaitis this, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this letter that I got from our anchor voice inbox. Ooh. Um, okay. He actually, he actually wrote this down as he was going to jail, though. Oh, so, okay. Um. So he apparently he has been a long time watcher of Spicy Nights, mm-hmm. and 
He wanted to ask you about your experience with dropping the soap. I'm oh, not sure no, why he well. would ask that, but mm -hmm. it was an interesting choice as this is his first letter from jail. Mm, so, very interesting. How, yeah, how, how is your experience for, uh, with dropping the soap? Wow, well, um, yeah, my, my experience with dropping the soap, it's, it's really simple, man. It's just um, when you're showering, you, you drop the soap and um, the yeah. soap gets dirty. And when it gets dirty, you have to clean the soap. So yeah. what you do instead? Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. If we're like, hold on, I'd mm -hmm. argue. Okay. And this is this is this might be semantics. When you mm -hmm. drop soap on the floor, you're is it is it? Aren't you cleaning the floor? No, I would it. argue. You uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Hold on. You hold on. Like there, there's bacteria everywhere, right? And okay. even in, in your soap, there's some bacteria there. So when you okay. drop it on the floor, like drop it like it's hot, like that increases like the number that. of okay. bacteria on the surface, man. So I would say it would be dirty. Would you not? Okay. I mean, all right. Would it be the, the same or equivalent to, let's say, if you dropped hands on, hand sanitizer mm -hmm. on the floor, alcohol on the floor? Right. Wouldn't you say that the floor is being, you know, sanitized? Or are you gonna say the floor is dirtying the fucking the alcohol? That wouldn't make sense. Hmm. You have you you get you, hmm. That that is interesting. That is, that is an interesting question there. Okay, it's, 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 it's semantics. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's a philosophical. But, yeah, yeah. But can you record it? Yeah. I, I would mm -hmm. say yeah. I would I would still come down on, um, like the floor dirtying this the the yep. hand sanitizer. I don't know. It it seems to me. Okay. Like um, the world is out to get you, man, and yeah. uh, you gotta accept the 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 reality that is dealt to you. So that that's that's that happens, man. Happens. But to answer mm -hmm. the question, like, what was my experience um, with dropping the soap? Like, I dropped the soap one time, and it was dirty, and then I, I wanted to pick it up, right? And when when I when I tried to pick it up, it slipped from my hands and it fucking fell inside the damn toilet. And so you have a yeah. Okay, okay. So here here's here's where the rubber meets the road though. Like yeah. when the soap went into the toilet, I just you know used the soap as a cleaning thing. Even though, even okay. though the soap was dirty, when you spread that dirt everywhere, it becomes clean. And so I think that's that's um that's what you need to take away from this experience of dropping soap. Um, you need to be able to clean your surfaces without the privilege of being clean yourself. So, um, to the to our listener, our dear listener, the um ask the question about my experience with it hopefully you know you're, you're good in jail um like the soap out there isn't too rough you know there's there's uh soap there to clean every surface out there and i wish you the best of luck out there you know it's a it's yeah. a cruel world but um soap goes a long way like dropping the soap it is the best way to guarantee your success here in the world that's what I, I, I hope he gets a chance can, to watch this yeah, fucking podcast. I, I wish him the best it. too, because yeah. here's the thing, right? This was actually like an email, uh -huh. uh, like letter, like we were, because when he sent the letter, mm -hmm. I sent him a letter back right. uh, to to the fucking jail thing, right? Uh -huh. And the thing is, he just never responded. I I Ooh. just don't know. I mean, it was his first letter. Apparently, like he just went there. Or he just mm -hmm. I don't know if this is. You know, I was I wanted to ask him more questions for the podcast, mm -hmm. but he just sent one letter and just disappeared. So, hmm. hey man, hopefully he's good. Hopefully yeah. the man Al Jabbar is good, man. Mm -hmm. But that that was what an interesting man. I know, oh, what an okay. interesting man. And actually, I actually have the last question, and it final question, probably the most interesting, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Not over you guys, but just like the most interesting one that we've gotten. And it's actually from TikTok. Uh, 
It's from like, a user. Like, dude, I'm pretty sure it's not the follow us, bitches. Fuck yeah, you. exactly. Follow follow us on TikTok. Um, so it's from a user. I'm pretty sure this isn't the real version, but uh -huh. the user Charlie D'Amelio. Mm, uh, but it's okay. like spelled in a weird way. Charlie But wow. Yeah. Shout out! Oh, yo, Charlie D'Amelio, if you're listening, definitely join us <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> Charlie nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, but. This is a little, a little more, a little more, a uh, little more serious, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so it says, I recently went on a date with my ex after two years, and mm. it felt like a weird experience. We talked and caught back up with each other and said how we felt. After the date, I felt like we could give it another shot. Mm. But when I got home, she sent me nudes. What does this mean? Wow. Question mark. Very interesting question. That's yeah, yeah. What? So That's what well, I said let, too. Me, let me see if I hear, uh, heard the question right. So she she went out a date with a guy, and then after she went no, back no. home, yeah, yeah. She, mm -hmm. after she went back home, she got nudes from the guy. Yeah. Well, so basically, well, I'm I'm assuming because I'm looking at the profile picture, like it's Charlie D'Amelio, but it has a picture of Patrick. Mm. So it, it either may be a girl or a guy, but like the girl sent them a nude. I don't. Oh, it was the opposite. But yeah. Girl sent them a nude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was interesting. So basically, they went on a date after two years. They used to date, mm -hmm. right? And then they had a date, but like when the person got home, she was he, she or he was sent a nude. Mm. Okay. That uh, yeah, it was like an. I'm guessing it's unsolicited. Wow. So so a fucking so okay. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. So she, she, okay, wait, so is it he or she? Or... Yeah, let's just say it's a he. It's a he. It's a he. It's a he. Oh, so wait, yeah, he for, went out yeah, yeah, with okay. uh, a girl or a guy? Uh, a girl. A girl, yeah. Oh, so, so he yeah. went out with a girl. Because in the letter it says, she sent me nudes. So yeah, we can see oh, him with guy, girl, whatever. He yeah, went out on a date and then she sent nudes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but it was his ex, though. After two years, you know, they decided to go on a date with each other. And he said, how it felt like an, a weird experience mm -hmm. and you know after the day he was saying how you know he thought that they could give it another shot but when he got home she sent him a nude wow. the same day and he's asking what it means it's a deep question that's what I'm saying like I'm fucking confused by the question <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. Let's Hold put on. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go, go, so go for it. So, yeah. we have fucking um. Let's call her um Jenny, right? Jenny. Monica. Oh, there you go, Monica, Monica right? Monica. Yeah, Monica, Monica, right? Please, Monica. Right. right. Yeah. Her name is and Monica, Monica, and Monica. um and Bill, right? Bill and Monica, Monica. were okay. dating for you know years, and then they broke up, right? And then yeah. Exactly. After a few years, Bill and Monica, they went on a date again. Yeah, they rehashed. They reconnected. What I'm assuming they kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then they talked. Mm -hmm. They talked. They, 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 there was some connection there, and you know, Bill and Monica maybe mutually. Um, I don't know if it's mutually, but maybe the um, Bill thought that um. They could give give it another shot. They could date again, right? Because they were exactly after ex, that experience, ex partners. Yeah. And so when Bill went home after the date, um, he checked his phone, and what do you know? There was nudes from Monica. Exactly. Right. That that's and he's asking what that's it means. Scenario. Okay. Wait. So who who's this question really? Uh, fucking uh, supposed to be too. I mean, Faze. I mean, I guess you're the most experienced oh, with this oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, hey, you know, in our lifetime, hey, all right, because like I, I don't know how. To, here's the thing, I could. That's a fucking tough situation to be in, man. Yeah. I have For never Bill? experienced yeah. anything like that in my life. Like, it's a moral see, dilemma. I, I, if he's watching, that's what I'm saying. Like, hey, yo, what's up? Right. But look, 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 it, it depends. Mm -hmm. I, look, look, look. Okay, shit. Hold on. Hold on. It depends on how they broke up, right? Mm. Like, True. if the breakup was like, oh shit, man, this is fucking hard, man. I don't fucking know, dude. I know it's a fucking mind bender, man. Trust me, I know. Hey, man, B Bill is a good guy. You gotta give him some advice, man, because uh, he's a 
Uh, well, fuck, man. I you wish you would help. give me more context. Uh, but listen, it's it's cool, man. But like, so, I mean, uh, I guess we, we can, we'll go all paths on what what could have happened. All right. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I guess. So, if if she did like or yeah, 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 yeah if the partner right fucking right. bills with monica right mm-hmm. did some crazy okay. shit to mm-hmm. make fucking what was his name bill right to bounce right and after two years they date again it's gg and then the, she sends nudes that, that, that's a mind game bro what oh the fuck? no Root, 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 Root. That's a mind game, right? don't do it don't do it what if he did something to make her bounce, and then they mm. came back again, mm-hmm. and then she sent. I mean, hey, I, I guess respect to that, but like, fuck, man, uh, what the fuck did you do, man? I, I don't know, man. It's a delicate, it's a delicate situation, <laughs> indeed. Wouldn't you say that's moving a little too fast? Because think about it, like you oh, just wait, you, know, you said reconnect. you said they were dating for two two years, right? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, and then yeah. and then they reconnected. Like what it says here, it says they went on a date. After two years of being broken up, they came, you know, they came. What I'm assuming is they, you know, caught back up with each other and, you know, they got on, they went on a date. Mm-hmm. Um, and it doesn't specify, but maybe that date was to catch up. It was an actual date and maybe it was just to see how each other, like they were both were doing. Um, and just to check up on each other. And then he said that after they, he felt like, you know, it was from what I'm, what I'm reading. It said, oh yeah, you know. He can give it another shot, which means it went well, or it, mm-hmm. at least those feelings are still there. But and then boom, 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 he got a fucking nude the same day. The same day. I mean, I guess he so, did something right. So motherfucker, just keep doing what the fuck you're doing, man. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, man. Keep, keep doing. doing. Okay. I'll I'll give him a fucking uh, slap in the forehead if I could, man. Let's go. But um, I I respect that. I mean, I mean. Uh, okay, so you mentioned like it might have been too fast. I, I get. I, I mean, depending, because maybe they did for a long time. So mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think. I like. Actually, how how would you guys feel, right? If if you guys broke up with your girlfriend for a long time, mm-hmm. and then she came back and sent a nude, I feel like you're just continuing where you left off. Mm. You know? uh, it feels pretty shitty, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I, for same. Is like it, it would be shitty because um. Like, because yeah. I, I, I would be expecting, like, like going back to a relationship. Like, f- it, by her yeah. sending a nude, it's basically, like, like she wants something different from, like, sh- like she wants to start yeah, over with a I new want. kind of relationship and not, not mm-hmm. the, the normal one, quote-unquote normal, Ooh, right? So she's expecting something different. Mm-hmm. Maybe, mm-hmm. I don't know, Monica, like, email us. Let, let us know your perspective. What if we bring that to the podcast? Let's, let's go. Because, look, for Bill, like, uh, we're go- we're, I guess we're calling you Bill, Charlie D'Amelio, Bill, you know. Mm-hmm. So, basically, Bill, what it, what I just realized is maybe, maybe she wants to set up, like, an FWB relationship, a mm. friends with benefits benefit type of thing with you, man. Very maybe. Because, like, why would your ex, like, send you a nude out of nowhere after rehashing, after two years? After one date, you know, after j- just one meeting, one session, why would mm-hmm. she just, yeah, let me just send him a nude. She probably, she probably, uh, you know, she wants to have the sexy time with you, my guy. Wow. Um, but it's all up to what you want, Bill, man. Uh, if you want to continue the relationship in that way, yeah, go is, for is it. it. If you, if you want something yeah. more, then. Is it worth it? Out. That's for Bill to decide, you know? I mean, yeah. yo, yo, thanks for asking me the question. I, I respect, but. Yeah, 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 it's fuck, man. I think the only way to find out is to bring him on the podcast, right, man. Yeah. The next episode, we need to yeah, mediate between them. You know? was it, was Future Bill podcast. Future Bill, that was gonna be a dope ass podcast, man. Consoling, fucking spicy, nice therapist, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Couples therapist. Shit, See, man. Actually, actually, something that you mentioned, Russell, right? You said uh-huh. like. She might something want. She might she might want something else. Uh-huh. To me, I don't know why. I just don't see it like that. I mean, mm. it could be a possibility, right. but to me, it's just like I don't know. They just left off where they came from. Unless that's the only thing she, she's aiming for, mm-hmm. then I I would say that's like you know, it's a GG's right. one two three. Because we we don't know her intentions. That's the problem. We we need to oh. like interview her for sure. the next yeah. podcast. Send your email, or send wherever you are, man. Send your email. Yeah. 
Send some more emails. Wow. Yeah. Shit. Those those were I'm not gonna lie, fucking dope ass uh questions that yeah. we got from most from unique the- questions I've ever fucking saw in my life some good I'm not even joking. Questions. Like, if you guys want to send some questions man we got the twitter instagram fucking anchor mm. we got tiktok uh we also got discord motherfuckers join discord let's you go bitch. um <laughs> damn <laughs> fucking hostile aggressive oh, shit <laughs> your slip but yeah, yeah motherfuckers better join better join if you don't i'm playing your mom oh shit. and thank you thank you audience members for listening this was a definitely an interesting episode q and a and as always, have a, a spicy, spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking love. Nice. night. Let's go.